Here we are with Ariane Ang at Chinese American Conference. So Ariane, you were just on the panel uh, with CIA and the FBI. And how do you, what do you feel about that? Yes, I um, moderated a panel called Chinese Americans Entangled in the U.S.-China Conflict. And the panel was timely because of the concerns that the Chinese American community have you know, about the rising anti-China rhetoric, uh, which has implicated them under a cloud of suspicion for being a disloyal foreigner. I know that you've been very active in the civic, uh, you know, like social uh, justice. So when did you start that and how, how do you, you know, come to this area? So would you like to hear my origin story? Yes, yes, please. Okay, yes. so um, I'm going to take you back to 1982 in Houston, Texas, and I was about 13 years old. And at that time, there were so few Asian Americans, much less Asian Americans on television. And I spotted a, a woman by the name of Helen Zia. She's here. She's an author, speaker, scholar. Um, and she was leading a coalition of Asian Americans in Detroit in response to um, a, the convictions of two men who had killed a Chinese American by the name of Vincent Chin, who they'd mistaken for Japanese and had uh, accused of taking uh, their jobs. So I was enthralled by this woman who I'd never seen before. Again, there were very very few Asian American faces on TV. In fact, I think the only one I saw was on a laundry detergent. And the, even the idea that someone could be a social justice activist. And so that started down my journey to going to college and majoring in political science and then becoming a, an activist in Asian American issues for the last 30 years. Wow, last 30 years. You, you still look so young. Thank you. Yes, and also I heard that you've been involved in the Wang Hao Lee's case, right? So. Uh, yeah, so um, back when uh, Dr. Wen Ho Lee's case, uh, when he was in, in solitary confinement, um, this was around 1999 to 2000, I was staff attorney with the DEN National Asian Pacific American Legal Consortium, now it's called the Asian American Justice Center. And there were a few uh, major Asian American national organizations that were in Washington, D.C. There were about four that were highly active in organizing a community response. Um, this is just in Washington, D.C. There was a whole campaign uh, across the country, specifically in California. Um, and there was a dozen of us uh, organizational leaders that went to meet with Attorney General Janet Reno to express our concerns. So that was sort of a historic moment um, because of the um, the just the rising clout that the Asian Americans were just beginning to have at that time on a, on a national arena. Mm. So you actually witnessed the changes in this last 30 years and from that time until this time. Uh, but right now it seems like the climate of the United States changed. And how do you feel about especially when we got the President Donald Trump? So I'm almost 50 <laughs> years old. And um, I can say that I do have high concerns about the fabric of society because I strongly believe in, in diversity, about the United States being um, the world leader in this experiment of bringing people from different races, ethnicities, cultures, and languages um, together. And there are assaults on that idea. So. I am very concerned. In my previous life, I did um, record, monitor uh, hate crimes against Asian Americans, uh, wrote reports, and also advocated around it. So this belief is very uh, tightly held. It only has reinforced um, my efforts and my work to bring unity and to bring diversity and inclusion. And so to that end, uh, locally, I helped to found a coalition um, of about 50 groups in Montgomery County, Maryland, called the Communities United Against Hate, um, who has been working um, together to unify the community, no matter who, what background anyone has. Mm. So, as a Asian American uh, lady, uh, you know, especially in, involved in this hate crimes, uh, what is the most uh, challenge for you? So. And in terms of hate crimes, anyone who has been the direct target, you know, suffers a physical and emotional injury. But there's also something called a secondary effect. And that affects anyone who is a member of that same group. And so, like everyone, 
if someone is being attacked specifically because of their race, ethnicity, national origin, or you know other attributes, their gender, their sexual orientation, um, what have you, then you could feel that it may be me as well. And I think that is why the Vincent Chin case was so impactful for me because I realized that an, a Chinese American like me could have been that person and could have, and his, his family did not receive the justice because the perpetrators were left off with a slap on the wrist. And so I think that's that secondary effect that, that I felt and that motivated me to get into this work to help protect um, and advance the rights of Asian Americans nation, nationally. That's very brave, I would say. And uh, it's, uh, thank, thank you so much for being with us. So the last question, question is, you know, for, you know, uh, we are at this conference, Chinese American Convention. What's your suggestion, and what do you see the future in the next five or ten years, and how do we, how can we work together? So one of my roles has been bridge building. So I'm, you know, a member of what they call the more established Asian American major national organizations circles, and um, I've watched with interest the United Chinese Americans. Um, organization grow in the last two years. It reminds me a lot of the organization of Chinese Americans of which I was a deputy director um, a long time ago and the founder had toured the country you know and established this uh, national pres presence. So that's what it reminds me of. I think it's important for Asian Americans to unify not only within their communities and to find common ground. You don't always have to be in agreement on all issues, but where there is common ground, unify together. And also to bridge build across other, you know, racial, ethnic, religious um, groups as well. Okay. Thank you. You're